Hello everyone. I wanted to turn on the camera because I want to try something new. Um, I don't have my food processor here. So this is going to be an experiment. I'm going to use my Ninja Auto IQ Smooth Boost. And let's hope that it works. Um, Shay Elliott did like salt with a bunch of different herbs. And I want to try that. And then you can just store it in a dry, clean mason jar. And you can use that for over the winter. So, I know she had quite a bit of salt. I'm not going to make a humongous batch. But I'm eyeballing it. And once I have it straight, as far as the ingredients are concerned, I will let you guys know exactly what I did. So what I want to do is take a bunch of different herbs for an example. I have rosemary and thyme here. We're just going to shove it in. And I have a bunch of basil. I'm going to put that in, just pull off the leaves. You don't have to be real particular, she said. And then you can use this all winter long. So this might not give me a huge batch right now, but it's all okay. I think it's the perfect herbs to use during the winter time. And then you'll have it in your jar for the winner. So if this works, I will just add to it and make some more. So thyme, basil, and cheese. Wait, I'm trying to think. Because I want to put a couple other things in here. So thyme, basil, these are just the stems. I'm going to discard them. Rosemary, that's it. Um, but I'm going to go cut a bigger sprig of rosemary and put it inside the blender. I could put the other ones that I put in um, because the stems were smaller but when it's a stem like this you want to strip it pull it off i already know it's clean because i rinsed it earlier so i'm pushing it down salt on the bottom i probably could fit a lot more but let's just try it and see if it works what's worst case scenario doesn't work. I think I'm going to put a little bit more salt on the top. You can put some lemon zest, she said in this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to grind it. And if you know anything about Ninja products, they are loud. So let's hope that this works. Right here, let's hope that this works. Because I don't have my food processor here, so... Bear with me on the noise. I think I'll stop it at 15 just to take a look, to get an idea. Cross your fingers. Hope this works. It's much easier to do it in a food processor. It is starting to work, but it's gonna to have to run a little bit longer. So let me get the lid back on. And then I'll bring you back so you don't have to listen to all the racket. Let's try looking at it again. Let's see if it's working. Not too shabby. Couple more seconds.
and it works. That'll be perfect. And then I'll just start cutting up my herbs and making more until I have a full quart size jar full for the winter for all my meats. So let me pulse this again. <laughs> think a food processor not bad let me show you what this looks like I am going to use my funnel on my canning I just want to make sure that it's fully dry and it worked there you go you can leave that um, lid off of it. If you don't have anything to mix it with, you can air dry it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be amazing in the winter over some beef or lamb. So I am quite excited. I do see a couple pieces of rosemary. But it's only something tiny like that so I just pulled it out um but yeah that's amazing it absolutely works and now I know what I'm going to do so I'm going to leave this with the lid off and just let it in case there's any moisture in it I am going to let it just air dry and that's it so you can use salt thyme um oh I have to put some oregano in here Shoot, so it was thyme, did I do oregano? Thyme, oregano, rosemary, and basil with kosher salt. You could do some lemon rind um, in there as well. And then if you have, which I have, but it's in storage, if you have a um, food processor, it would probably work out a lot easier. But that's amazing. I'm gonna keep going and make some more. So quick video. It's like the herbs of Provence. So yeah, she calls it the herbs of Provence. So I'm going to put some oregano in here. I'm probably going to blend it one more time. I'm dog sitting and doing tomatoes. Um, so if you hear them barking, I'm sorry about that. But herbs of Provence, oregano, thyme, basil. Let me see, oregano, thyme, uh, lots of basil, kosher salt. And I'm having like... I ever just feel like you're having one of those days? Yeah, total like brain freeze on the rosemary department. So that's it. I'll put the description down. I'll put the ingredients down in the description below. And um, if you want to go see how she does it, it's the same way I did it, less the lemon rinds. Um, and there you have it. This Get a full quart size jar full of this for the winter. And that is... Oh my goodness, and if you could just have smell of vision it smells so good. So I'm going to make some more, and this will be great when I get it filled so I can have this for the winter. I will keep you posted on how I do with getting this jar filled. So there you have it, guys. It's from uh, Shay Elliott, the Elliott Homestead. The only thing I didn't put in it was a lemon rind, but I think on my next batch I will. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment and like I said, I'll leave the description. I will leave the description down below for you all. I had to pause it, tell the dogs to be quiet. Um, so yeah, go over and take a look at her video and uh, hopefully you make this for the winter. There you go. Short, quick video with amazing seasoning for the winter. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and I'm going to make some more. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. God bless.